away from Bordono State. The first petition has been concluded at the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry for Restitution for Victims of Abuses by the defunct Special anti robbery Court of the Nigeria Police Force. At least 209 other cases are still before the panel, which began sitting on the 27th of October, and the chairman is seeking more cooperation from the police and the public to ensure it concludes other matters in the remaining five months of its mandate. Kemi Fuladeyemo reports. Bonu Pascal sought the panel's intervention for the enforcement of a 300 million naira judgment of the Federal High Court against the police for the 2018 killing of one Jimo Kendi. But police counsel Joseph Ebusireme told the panel that hearing the petition will amount to double jeopardy, as the police has already filed a notice of appeal at the Supreme Court against the Court of Appeals 30 million naira award. Counsel to the petitioner, Olali Kogazali, challenged the police to bring proof of the appeal, which the police provided to the panel, forming the basis for its decision. Um. Justice Doris Okuwabe dismissed the petition of Boni Pascal against the Nigerian police and FSS operatives on the grounds that his petition was grossly lacking in merit and an abuse of court processes. She also found that the petitioner didn't disclose the true state of affairs of his case to the panel. On the whole, we find this petition one lacking in merit and one intended to put the panel in a coalition court with proceedings pending before appealing to court. We will not fall into this judicial trap. In another case, Ibrahim Kabiru against FSAS. Justice Oku will be allowed an adjournment till Friday this week for counsel to present court processes to prove that the case is also already pending in a competence court. In the next petition, 33-year-old Abayomi Adebayo is seeking justice for his late mother, who was allegedly killed by a stray bullet during a shooting by some SAS operatives in April 2017. Kodirat Adebayo was selling fried water yam when the officers looking for an accused internet fraudster in Mushi shot in the air where she was hit by a bullet. He adds that the case was transferred to the Special Investigation and Intelligence Unit in Panti and that former Commissioner of Police, Fatayo Oshini, visited the family, but they are yet to find their mother's killer. There has been no response from the government. The police has not yet admitted or no response or invite us or let us anything to this moment until this panel was set up. At the request of the police, the case was adjourned to December the 12th. Kemi Fola Adeyemo, TVC News, Lagos.